Mama Murphy. You need the sight? It's telling me Mentats will give us the right high for another insight into your destiny. There you go. Ah, that's it. I can feel the sight opening up. You're looking for a man. He can help you. But he ain't gonna be the man you expect. He's somewhere deep and dark, surrounded by folks with nothing but cruel intentions. But there's an echo, something in the past that can help you. When you meet the fat man and the angry woman, tell them to... Remember the quarry and Lily June on the rocks, and they'll let you and your friend pass. <coughs> Don't mind me, kid. <coughs> the chems are just acting up a bit. I'll be fine, eventually. Hey. Come back for the site? I need Med X this time. Another chem... Another window to look through. Yeah, here you go. Oh, it just makes everything feel good, don't it? I'm starting to see clearly. You're walking into a sea, but it's not water you're afraid of drowning in. It's something invisible, but... Radiant. It burns everything in it. But, no, I can feel them. There's people calling out to something, chanting. They can show you the way, but they're so hard to read. Be careful around them, kid. I can't. <gasps> I... Almost thought I couldn't breathe there. Uh, heart's beating like no tomorrow. Gonna need to rest. Hey. We're gonna need a heavy hitter for the site to keep working, kid. Buff out ought to do it. Here. Go easy. Wow. Forgot how strong that stuff is. Phew. Okay. Here it comes. I see you, the mighty hunter. Only what you're hunting ain't an animal or a man. It's something different. Maybe something more than human. But what's this? I see a man in a white outfit standing over your prey. And he says something. It's, it's hard to make out. But I'm trying, kid. He says Z247, initialize factory reset, authorization code Zeta 53 Kilo. And then he falls. And he's still. Oh, God. <gasps> Sorry, kid. Old Ticker just lurched there a few times. I'm fine, really. Just need to stay still. Mama Murphy. Ready for the sight again, kid? I usually like mixing Psycho in with something else, but I'll need it straight this time. I've got it. Oh, Lord. That's pure. Gonna be an interesting trip. I see you surrounded by outstretched hands. Everyone needs your help, kid. Everyone wants you to see things their way. And whether you want it or not, you're gonna have to decide which ways of life keep going in the Commonwealth and which end. Oh, no. <laughs> You should have seen this coming. Ah! Hey. Got something with a bit of a kick for me, kid?
No. You're an addict. You need help. Oh, not this again. Kid, listen to me. I'm old, even older than you'd think. If the chems are going to kill me, then I say I've had a good run. We'd have never made it this far without the sight. We need it. You need it. It's part of who I am. The sight isn't worth killing yourself over, Mama Murphy. It doesn't have to define what you are or what you can give. All right, kid. You got me. If me hanging around for a little longer is worth that much to you, then I'll go clean. No more chems. No more sight. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of our 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today we are going to make our way to the Cambridge Police Station. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I have also not really done anything with Sanctuary since last time, but that's okay. That is okay. We're going to be heading west, kind of southwest, more west than southwest to be honest though. We'll go up top here though. Um, let's crouch. There's some mongrels over here. I think they always spawn over here, but I'm not sure. Oh, why are you targeting that guy? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. And the bullet. Oh, come on. All right. We'll just have to take them out from right here. There we go. We're just going over here to grab a Wasteland mag Wasteland Survival Guide magazine and a hollow tape. Oh wow. There's a group of Mongols. Did I get them all? Oh, that's so sweet. That was awesome. Not gonna lie. Whole group of mongrels. Four of them to be precise. Eh, we'll take their meat. Why not? Grab uh, the stuff off of the rad stags here. And then we'll loot this. Why not? Let's crouch. Not that we have any hard enemies over here. There's just bloat flies, but still. We can get an easy kill. Jesus, that took forever, didn't it? Another one right here. And then there's one more to the side here. That's flying backwards somehow. Apparently I just uh, shot my compressor off. Maybe I, should, I guess I shot my compressor at the bloat fly. That's what killed it. Let's go ahead and grab this yes. Wasteland Survival Guide. This is going to uh, permanently take 5% less damage from melee attacks. That's actually rather good. Because we fight a lot of ghouls and stuff in, in this uh, game. Let's listen to the Runaways holotape. October 22nd, 2008. 
2077. I finally told them tonight, and it was bad. Real bad. Dad was shouting, telling me I should be ashamed, that, that I had to get out of the house. Mom just cried, and somehow that hurt worse than anything else. She didn't say a word, not even when I packed my things. I can't go to John. He doesn't even know yet. Maybe he'll never know. If it weren't for the cabin, I, I wouldn't have a place to sleep. I just need some time to think. Last time I was here, I was just a little girl playing clubhouse in this old cabin. Now I'm really scared. Will anything ever be right again? Let's go ahead and uh, hack this terminal. Powering up. Protectron on duty. We should probably put some Rad X on because we have a uh, Rad Storm happening. Also, we find these wicked uh, shipping kind of uh, trailers all over the wasteland. And we're going to be getting the um, key to open up the back of them so we don't have to lockpick them. Which is going to be useful because <laughs> there's quite a few of them. Got him. Let's listen to the Wicked Business holotape. Blake, I want you to listen to me as a brother here. This whole deal with Eddie is wicked shysty. I mean, what kind of business partner threatens to kill you if the deal doesn't go his way? We are in way over our heads, man. I can't see a way out of this. No way except shutting down and getting out of Dodge. Give me a chance to talk this out with you face to face. I just want both of us to get out of this. All right, um, I'm going to lockpick this safe. Let's uh, pick the lock on the safe. That's it. All right. Red Storm sucks. There's the wicked uh, shipping key. Bingo. And we get a grognak. So for those of you that's playing a melee build, you might be getting quite a few criticals. Also for those readers of you. Or for... I said that weird. For those of you that want to read, <laughs> there's a terminal. Oh, Lord. Words. What are words? Who needs them, right? Apparently not Mr. Wayne. There we go. Uh, I just want your loot. Thank you. <laughs> Lodi. If you go over there, you can get a duffel bag full of pre-war money. I'm not worried about that. Um, oh, there's a 10 millimeter pistol. Let's open this up. This is way better than that bag of money. Just saying. Try to get a little closer and we'll take out these three bloat flies. Hopefully we can get them all. 
Nope. Of course not. God, I hate bloat flies. This is why I hate bloat <laughs> flies. <laughs> uh, they move around too much. Over here is a um, little shack to loot. It's really not that great a loot, but eh, every little bit helps, I suppose. Made it to Abernathy Farms. Where's Mr. Abernathy? Move, dog meat. Nope. Ah, there you are. <clears throat> That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. It's okay. I'm friendly. Not looking to cause any trouble. If you say so, but be warned. We're armed here, so don't try anything. Let me tell you... Farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it spent watching your back. Farming's hard work. Won't argue with that. Blake Abernathy, you new to the Commonwealth? Yes. And no. It's a long story. Either way, good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about working the land? What do you need to start up a farm? Well, my father would have told you it's the three L's. Land, labor, and love. You gotta have land to work, you gotta put in a full day's labor, and you gotta love what you do. Anyone who doesn't ain't gonna last long. Word of advice, though. If you do start up a farm, be ready to deal with the raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? Bastards. All of them. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to him. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. There's nothing worse than losing a child. Believe me, I know. I'm sorry to hear you say so. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, It'd mean a lot to us. I took care of some raiders earlier. I think I found the locket you're talking about. You serious? That's great news. Connie's gonna be speechless. Whatever the Minutemen need, you can count on us. We got a decent workshop here. And Connie's sure to go leaner on her prices after what you've done. So that locket that we picked up earlier into the walkthrough... That's what that was for, is to give to Blake Abernathy um, for a side quest. Let's go into our pit boy and put in a point. I think we'll put it into Gunslinger, and then we'll have to wait quite a few levels before we can put another uh, point into Gunslinger. But that's okay. I think what we're going to do next is probably, um, I mean, when we level up, that is, probably put it into lockpick. We're just heading south here. Well, southeast. Over here is a, a stash. For some ammunition and a weapon. Well, we want to uh, be careful. There's a few ghouls right around this corner here. We're, we're going to this house. How did it not hit with 95% accuracy? Oh, well. Gorski's. That's what it is. Gorski's cabin. I was trying to remember what the name of this cabin was.
Take out that ghoul. He was playing dead. Let's go into the root cellar. Alright. Some ammo. I think, yeah. There's that. Some purified water. All good stuff. Let's go ahead and put on some radix. We're going to need it. This room over here is pretty radiated. Let's turn that off. Pick up these uh, mini nuke parts. And then right here, bottle cap mine. That can be useful. And then the wasteland survival Hell guide. Yeah. This will just let us know where Diamond City is. Uh, let's hack this terminal. Alright. There's just some lore in the terminal. Talks about Gorski in his cabin. I guess. I don't know. I haven't read it in a very long time. Alright. We're going to backtrack a little bit, but it's only to get back up to the road. We don't need to crouch. All right, made our way back to the road. If we take a left up here, it'll lead us to Concord, but we don't want to go to Concord. We actually want to take a right down this road, which it is super foggy out. We're going to meet one of the best NPCs in the game. At least in my opinion. I think she's just a, a silly NPC. Hey. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? Just looking for love, sweetheart. <laughs> Boy, have you come to the wrong place. My loving days have long since passed. But I'll tell you what, wise ass. You made an old girl smile, and that ain't easy. You want to do some trading? I'll give you a discount. <laughs> no, I'm okay. Thank you, though. Gonna pass. Maybe next time. Hey. All right, dog meat, we need to trade. She usually has some kind of event going on. Oh, yep. Yeah. We're gonna have to fight. We're back here. That's what, I, like, I don't know why scavengers just attack us for no reason. You know, they're just scavengers. They're not, like, raiders or anything. But for some reason, they feel the need to be like, oh, well. Just have the scavengers attack people. It's just... Yeah, I know, dog meat. It's okay. It's okay, bud. You'll get up in a minute. We're not wasting a stim pack on you. Sorry, bud. I need every stim pack I can get. Alright, now that that's over, <laughs> let's, number one, heal ourselves. And then, um, use some rat away, I guess. We had a deal, Trudy. Hand over the goods. You owe us. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Now, don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. Whoa, whoa. Easy there, scabber. This doesn't involve you. You stop waving that gun in my face, or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. We'll lower our weapons, all right? Just don't do anything crazy. Now hand over your money. All of it. Just keep calm, all right? Here. That's everything I have. What's going on here? That's a simple business dispute, got it? Trudy sitting on a pile of goods that she owes me. I tried reasoning with her, but it looks like I gotta take what's mine by force. 
Want to make some easy money? Help me out. I could use another gun. Or maybe you think you can talk some sense into her. If I help, I expect to get paid. And I'd love to pay you, but you took all my money, remember? We'll work something out when this is over. I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. All right, let's go talk to Trudy. Hey there. I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Look, you owe the money. If you just pay them, then this'll be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. All right, I'll pay. But that bastard ain't gonna sell one more drop of jet to my boy. You hear that, Wolfgang? You'll get your damn money. But I better not catch you selling chems to my boy again. Fine by me, Trudy. Your son's broke as shit anyhow. All right. Crisis is over. If you're here to trade, step up to the counter. All right. Let's actually trade with Trudy real quick. Hey there. We're open for business again. A little lighter in the pocket, thanks to you. How about you buy something and make it up to us? I'll take a look, sure. All salvage, but nothing's junk. All right, let's uh, talk to Wolfgang here. Uh, <clears throat> we get paid and I don't even gotta shoot nobody. Good job, here. Now how about I show you all the pick-me-ups I have to offer? Not interested. All right, we're getting uh, some good experience here. Some stuff to loot over there. If you're lucky enough, which we will not be, our luck is one, you could get a perfectly preserved pie. I don't think I've got a perfectly preserved pie ever, but I think you have to have luck at 10 and use some Kims. Please, we can work this out. No, we need to find what it relayed back to its masters. Don't come any closer, friend. This doesn't concern you. Please, help! They're going to kill me! Shut up! Oh. Uh, okay. Look, I'm sure we can work this out. No one has to die. Fat chance. This synth has been watching us for weeks. Knows everything about us. We let this thing go. How long before it comes back with its institute buddies to put us down? Why the hell would we risk that? You need to let him go. Think about it. If he meant to hurt you, wouldn't he have done it already? I would, I would, I would never do that. You're, you're my friends. They got a point, Fred. He's had all the chances in the world to harm us. Maybe... Maybe we should just let him go. I... All right. But if I ever see you again, I'm putting one right between your eyes. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Just... Get the hell out of here. Bunker Hill. I just have to make it to Bunker Hill. All right. That was weird. <laughs> He's all glitched out. That was really weird, um, why it wouldn't let me, um, negotiate there for a minute. Again, this is just a spot where random events happen. It's not always going to be that, so if you don't have that event, don't worry. Um, there will be m multiple chances to have that sort of event. I don't think it has to happen in that house either. Um, poor guy. Probably got stuck in here. I was like, well, only one way to get out. Let's continue down the road. I'm trying to make it to where I'm taking pathways so nobody's getting lost and they can follow along fairly easily. But I know that's going to be impossible to take a pathway every episode. Especially when you got to go out to the middle of nowhere to get a magazine or something.
every now and then there's a, an event over here as well in this little uh, blown out fucking building, whatever the fuck it is. I don't think it's a house, but it's some sort of building. If you want to go up to that junkyard, by the way, uh, feel free. There's some pretty decent loot. Just be careful. There's a few mole rats in there. Alright, fire support. That's what I was waiting on. Let's go into our pit boy and turn on the radio. Automated message repeating. This is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Barum, 9-5. Our unit has sustained casualties, and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Alright, so if you head up to that path, it'll bring you up to that junkyard, which we might as well discover it real quick. Why not, right? Maybe. There we go. Yeah, there's some pretty decent loot in there. Um, but nothing that is important to me. If there's not a magazine or a hollow tape or a uh, bobblehead, I'm not going for it. Or a special weapon. All right, dog meat, I see it. I bet we're about to get another rad storm. This guy does not know where the fuck he's going. I promise I'm not following you, bud. Oh, no. Bad idea. He's going to a very dangerous spot. We're almost to our destination. After we finish up here, we're going to call it a video. We're about to fight a ton of ghouls. Precisely. Bastards. Ghouls are so annoying. Damn it. No. Not getting past. Me. Standing down. This is the part of the job that I love. More ghouls. Weapons. Hold up. I think we're being stalked. Intruder alert. Ugh. Like I said, ghouls suck. <laughs> they suck so bad. And they give you so many ghouls here. Breaching the perimeter. Still breaching the perimeter. Why? I just killed the last of them. Excuse me. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Before I answer, will you tell me who you are? In due time. If you want to remain in our compound, I suggest you answer my question first. Pest exterminator. I heard you had a feral problem. Evading my questions is a surefire way of getting yourself ejected from the compound. Are you from a local settlement? Do all these questions really matter? After all, I help you fight those ferals. You make a fair point. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. 
If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. I want to help, but I don't like the secrecy. Who are you, really? Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need, the deep-range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. All right, we're going to wrap up the video here in just a second. I want to grab this mini nuke. Those things are so valuable. Halen, take Reese inside and bind his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. All right, let's uh, end the video here. And when we come back, we'll uh, help out Paladin Dance and the Brotherhood of Steel. All right, everybody. With that being said, I would like to start with thanking everybody for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why you didn't like the video in the comments below. It only helps the channel and it also helps me become a better content creator. All right, everybody, like always, I hope you all have a great morning, afternoon, or night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.